Okay, I'm going to show you a little, little uh, thing I discovered this morning. Um, I have a lot of ESOL beginners who are um, struggling with you know the IT side of things. They can use a phone, they can click on links. Um, I was trying to use live worksheets in a particular way, but it was not really working. So I'm going to show you something that makes it much easier for people who are uh, beginners or have literacy, IT literacy problems. So I'm just going to switch over to um, showing you my desktop. Okay, so I'm in live, uh, live worksheets. And I'm just going to go to my worksheets and just find the worksheet that I'm interested in. It's this one here. Okay, so up to now I've been sending this email here. The problem with that is that what it does is it asks them for their a name, their level, um, their subject, it's all just too much. Um, and it also asks for how to mark things and what to do. So instead of using that one, click on here instead. Now you've got some options. You can decide how it's checked. Is there a time limit? Sending the answers to the student. The important ones for me, I'll fill these ones out because it just stops them having to, to complete that. And then ask them to, it sends the answers then to your mailbox, which I'll show you in a minute. Decide how it's graded, so you can turn off the grades, or you can just, so you can just show the answers if you like, or you can choose between them. Um, your choice. Now that's created a really long link, um, which you can copy. Now, in, there's several times where you might end up with very long links in IT systems, and they're horrendous to send to, to students. So there's another video which is linked in the description below. It shows you how to uh, create short links that you can then uh, send nice and easily to students that they can copy and paste and tell each other or whatever. It's just much easier. So I've created that link. Let's just go off and try it out. So if I go to that, I just pasted that link in as if I'm a student. So I can then come in here, I can answer some of the questions. Oh, no, it's, got, it's not a bike, is it? It's a, a boat and a what's number five number five is a bike there we go so we can complete this i found um word searches this morning as well which was quite an interesting one so they can click on the answers let's do something wrong um so you complete it then at the end they click finish so they put all they have to do then is put their name in and click send so hopefully that's not too difficult if i go back to um, my, um, go back to here, let's have a little look. Now, what we should see is, if we go to my mailbox, then we should be able to find, um, that's the one that we just completed. So who was it, what was it, who was it by, what's the result, you can click on it. You can see what they, what they picked, um, and then what was right and what was wrong. So really good option. I'll let you know how that I get on um, with my students in the comments. Give it a try. Let me know.